my god. This is a nightmare. Rachel and I got there on Friday. Had a beautiful pre-ride, 60 degrees, sunny. Uh, got to see some of the course, uh, the beginning and the end. Really kind of let me set up my plans for the day. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. Break starts at seven. I think it's 5.15. I take my time with the first 20 minutes. Now it's 6.36. I'm just barely dressed. People are already downstairs eating breakfast. I have had no food. I get a small bowl of oatmeal, half a banana, and we're racing to the start line. The defining feature of the course was by far the Sager Canyon and Sager Road Soft Sand Sessions. It was horrendous. When we finally got out of the sand, uh, the race had detonated and it was blown apart. Uh, there was uh, scattered riders all over the place, different abilities. Stronger riders who didn't ride well in the sand, or slower riders who obviously went slower. Uh, I was somewhere in the middle. Uh, my wife was way more successful up ahead, and I ended up getting with a, uh, another female named Nan, who ended up winning the overall for the females. And I actually knew her, but didn't recognize her at the time. And she helped tell me back to my wife, and the two of them left me lonely and tired at the first aid station. It's bad. I always just tell people, you can always keep riding your bike. It just won't be very fast. Every hill is, every hill is the easiest thing I have. As little work as possible. I'll be with people for like a quarter mile. I was with a single speeder for maybe a mile. And she dropped me on the first climb. Like no one is climbing as slow as I am right now. I am the slowest climber on the course. There's 74 miles in. I'm definitely in contention for Lantern Rouge. DFL. I don't think I ever saw Chuck at all. Larry's up the road. Rachel's behind Larry. Mark probably caught both of them by now. There should be black coffee and whiskey at every aid station. I've made it a point to tell every worker that. I think next year it'll be there. 76? 76? That's not much left! Ah! Oh man. 76, huh? I can do 70, 7, 24, 23 and a half miles left. Finished, finally. Uh, I came in with a guy named Mike from Waterloo. He was a great guy to ride with the last few miles. Uh, my wife was calling my name at the finish line. I thought I heard her. I don't know. I looked right at her apparently, but I didn't see her. Um, bike was fantastic. Uh, I think if I had any bike problems, it would have really ruined my day. But the bike uh, and uh, mechanics at Velosmith are awesome. My wife also had the same things to say about her bike. Um, definitely ready for DK. Uh, some things have changed. Other things are, are locked in. Six hours, six hours, 19, maybe that makes more sense. 617, that makes more sense. Hey, you know what, it's unbelievable.
Final video vlog. Heading home with the fourth place finisher. What, babe? My outer gloves? I don't know. Which one? Where were they? No, it still can suck. Let's see if we can get them tomorrow. Okay. Made it back alive. Had a fun evening with some other Chicago cyclists. Did wake up the next morning, did a 22 mile chiller route, and got my wife's gloves. Mission accomplished. And that closes us out for Bray River Bay 2018.